Awesome. Yeah. I'm excited to see you, my well. friend. Mm -hmm. And they know they're going to get some good information from you because uh, you always bring it. We're talking about skincare, of yes. course. Yes. But particularly serums, okay? Yeah. So yes. we go there to the cosmetic counter. We see all of the products out there. There are serums for all these different things, but we don't necessarily know what they are, what they're for. So what's the difference? What is a serum? What is a serum? Okay, yeah. so let's, let's debunk the, the myths of serum and make it really simple. Serums are um, lightweight, textured products that go on that have a lower molecular weight okay. than your moisturizer. So what that means is that we can get active ingredients further into your skin so they can work to really correct some issues that your moisturizer can't get to. So your moisturizer, um, when you start looking in the mirror and thinking, all right, I'm noticing a brown spot. Yeah. Why is this pore more visible and where did that line come from? <laughs> Don't look for your moisturizer to do that. Your moisturizer's job is to put moisture in your skin and to get a protective mantle in your skin so your skin feels comfortable. Okay. What you need is a treatment serum that will do a deeper dive and get those ingredients that can treat the issues in your skin. So you're suggesting that we, we might need both? You might need both, yes. A moisturizer yes. and a serum. Let the moisturizer do what it's supposed to do, yes. which is moisturizer and uh, let the serum do what it's supposed yes. to do. Let's talk about the different issues that serums might yeah. be able to help us with. So okay. you mentioned brown spots? Brown spots. So yeah. um, it, discoloration, brown spots, uh, a kind of a, a shadowy look or even almost like splotches on yeah. your skin. It all comes from the sun. It might be hormones. It could be medication. But there are ways to treat that and lift it up and out of the skin. Okay. One of my favorite ways to do that is something that is loaded with vitamin C. That's a fantastic ingredient for lifting up brown spots. Um, I also I also really like a serum that has some retinol in it, and that's okay. a vitamin A, and vitamin A's will lift up brown spots as well. So look for those two ingredients when you're looking for a serum if you're concerned about brown spots. Now you say, uh, you mentioned as well, large pores. Yes. So is that when, you know, your face looks like it's got little polka dots all it's over it? It's got little polka dots. It, it might large. look a little bit more like an orange peel texture. Orange peel. Orange peel texture. I know what you're talking about. And that about. can come from oily skin, but it can also come when we get older, when collagen starts slowing down. Collagen's ah. your support network. And when that slows down, it can make your skin droop a little bit, and then your pores can elongate. So you want mm. something to firm up. I really like something, again, that has the retinol in it, but there are nighttime serums that are specifically designed um, with that retinol to help tighten up those pores, keep them clean and clear. Yeah. Another great ingredient to look for is salicylic acid in a serum. Salicylic acid is great for keeping pores whistle clean. Okay, now what if you have a moisturizer you absolutely love, you don't want to go through the whole process of doing the serum and the moisturizer thing, because I was ex explaining to the audience, I'm not that great with skin care, I, I want to keep it to a minimum. Is there any way you can find a moisturizer that has all of the stuff a serum has there in it? There are a lot of great choices out there with moisturizers now. Um, so some are strictly for putting hydration in your skin, but mm -hmm. some have a mixture of those ingredients so that they do double duty and bring the treatment elements along with the hydration. Or if you've got a moisturizer you love and you're yeah. just not willing to give it up, one of my favorite little tricks, this one is called Turbo Booster C. And you take this little powder and you fresh mix it into your favorite moisturizer or you could take your serum mm -hmm. and it's just, it's just a light, light powder. You mix it in and immediately you get a boost of that vitamin C that brings vibrancy and freshness. It's great as an antioxidant, so you get everything all in one. You don't have to switch moisturizers. Just make your own little potion. Make your little concoction Your little morning. concoction. Yes, your little concoction. If you yeah. are concerned about lines and wrinkles, uh, what do you want to find? What do you need in the serum to help you out with that? What lines serum? And, yeah, lines and wrinkles. What you want um, is something that will lightly exfoliate, so mm. something that will gently encourage cell turnover. Mm -hmm. You also want to look for something that has peptides in it. Okay. So peptides, those are your heavy lifters. I like those for boosting up and lifting up. So anything with a peptide or an amino chain in it, ask your, your uh, beauty consultants for something with a peptide because it does the heavy lifting, the lifting firming. The yeah. boosting and lifting. Boosting I need that in my bra. We need that everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to rub yes, it on my bra. We start here and bra. we just keep yeah. going.